Well, guys, welcome back to Bible Time at Faith. My name is Andrew, and I will be taking you guys through the book of Psalms on Fridays and Saturdays. So in between Jared's lessons that he's doing through 1 Timothy, I will be going through the Psalms. Um, basically, the most important thing that you need to do, if you don't have your Bible in front of you, if your family's not with you, and they can be, pause this video right now, get your Bible, get your family. I will wait, so pause it right now. All right, I'm going to assume you paused it and you have your Bible. Um, the reason I would prefer that you guys have a physical Bible in front of you, if you only have an app or something like that, that's okay. Um, but really what I want to do with this series is every week just go through one psalm. And there is something special about knowing your own Bible, knowing and even where the words sit on the page. And so having your own Bible with you is very important. So have your Bible if you want to, have a notebook. Um, that is more than, more than okay. You can take notes and be going through the word with us. Uh, today we're going to be doing mostly introductory things because the book of Psalms is kind of unique and, and kind of special in the way that it works. And so it'll, I think it'll help us a lot to get some introductory material. So the goal is to have a 10 minute video on Friday and Saturday, one Psalm at a time. Now with this, I will admit that I will fall short of uh, doing everything that, you know, the Psalm deserves and getting into all the ins and outs. Some Psalms will be, will be better than others just by nature of them being shorter than other Psalms. And when I think about a Psalm like Psalm 119 and 176 verses in, in 10 minutes, uh, I will fall woefully short. But my hope is to offer you guys some helpful material and that this will be the beginning of a devotion through that Psalm each day. So that's kind of the goal. So, you know, why are we doing the Psalms? As I think about the Psalms, the word that comes to mind is it's broad. And it's really broad in every sense of the word. It's broad in its, its authorship, and it's broad in its date, and it's broad in its content, and also in its context. So the, the book of Psalms really speaks to every time. It's been a, it's been a precious refuge for believers through, through really all of time. And for God's people, it has been, a, it has been a, an emotional appeal to the Lord from the, heart of, from the deepest part of who we are. It's this cry out to God. It's these questions and these praises and it holds some of the, the hardest questions of Scripture. I think of Jesus on the cross quoting Psalm 22 saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And just the depth of that expression, that pain, showing that Jesus suffered in every way that we did, but without sin. And so how do believers, as we struggle through some of those questions, how do we worship God? And how are we faithful to God even in those hard questions? And so today, as, as introduction, we'll, we'll waste no time and we'll start talking about the first step of interpretation, and that is observation. And we ask questions like, okay, this book didn't fall out of the sky. It, it came at a certain time, in a certain place, in a certain way, and that's how we go about every book of the Bible. And what's unique about Psalms is that the Psalms are composed and written over a lot of time. So the very first Psalm, Psalm 90, I don't know, you guys probably remember, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the very first Psalm that Jared ever preached was... Psalm 90 is the first sermon he preached in youth group, and that's written by Moses. So you're talking about 1400 BC, you know, way long ago. And the last Psalm is written sometime after the return where Israel has been exiled from the land and they've come back from Babylon. And that's really in the 400s BC. So you're talking about about a thousand years of time that these books are written. And when we talk about who is the author uh, half of the Psalms are authored by David. We know from uh, the Psalms themselves that 73 talk about the Psalms that are, they say, of David in the very beginning. And there's two Psalms that are actually attributed to David in the New Testament. So 75 of the 150 Psalms are of David. But then you have other author authors such as the sons of Korah and Asaph and a guy named Eitan and a guy named Haman. And, and then there's 48 anonymous Psalms. There's Psalm, the Psalm of Moses, the Psalm, two Psalms by Solomon. And so what this really means is when I talk about the Psalms being broad, is that means that these Psalms came at different times and in different places by different authors. And so what this means for us as believers is that the Psalms really speak to any and every situation we could encounter. You know, all the questions of life, all the hardship, all these great things that we get to worship God for, the Psalms kind of cover the whole thing. And that's why, that's why we love it so much. And so the, the broadness that makes it hard to interpret sometimes is the same reason that we love it. It's because it, it covers the gambit of everything that gives us this hope, right? So it's, it's broad in its context, in the way that it's written, who wrote it, 
and all these things. It's broad in that way, but it's also broad in its content, meaning it deals with things that sometimes feel like polar opposites, but I think as believers and as people, we understand feeling both of these emotions. We understand lament and sorrow, and also at the same time, we understand praise, and we understand you know feeling both of those things, so praise and lament, uh, thanksgiving, and even questions that we have, right? The the from humble prayers of someone who seems to be just in the mud and in the dirt and it feels like a failure, these humble appeals to God, to these grand prophecies of the Messiah. It's all in the Psalms, you know? And so it's got, you know, aspirations and, and failures and faithfulness and repentance and complaints and confidence and, and pain and rejoicing. And it's just, it's the whole spectrum. It's the whole spectrum. And it's, it's very practical and very honest. I think as believers, when we think about the questions we ask of God and, and some of the doubts that we have and all these things, the Psalms show us how to honor God in pursuing that and talking to him. You know, it's, it's God's words to us, but it's also our words to him that he's given us. So it teaches us how to pray. And it, it's really the purpose is to facilitate proper worship. The Psalms were used by God's people in the temple precious to the church. You know, there's, there's church traditions that really only worship through use of the Psalms. The Psalms, you probably, as we go through the series, you'll probably find that you know more Psalms than you know you do by virtue of the, of the worship songs we sing, you know, and the prayers that we pray and just kind of the, the traditional heritage that the Psalms have in the church. So it's, it's going to be very beneficial. I'm super excited. It's going to be, um, it's going to be glorious, but it's also going to be what you put into it. You know, the, the meditative, like I said, this, I'm going to be offering a, a very broad overview. You know, it's going to be sky level. And as much as I want to get deeper, I, I'm trying to stick to one psalm, you know, per episode so that you can, you know, <laughs> get through a psalm and, and, you know, have that time and meditate on it. And we don't need to be in, you know, this one psalm for multiple days. So this isn't to replace your devotion, but to just kind of like jumpstart you guys for the day. So the purpose of the Psalms is to facilitate worship. That's the mindset that we're going into. And in the next episode, I'll kind of get into some of the technical um, things that we want to know about how the Psalms work, the genre, and then things like that. And it'll be cool. You'll, you'll be able to see how it really understanding those things really helps us understand the Psalms. So that's what we're going to do. That's been episode five of our series, very beginning of the Psalms. Looking forward to it.